So you've got your ebook written, but now what? Before you can publish, you have to format your book. And the good news is you don't need any expensive software and you don't even have to hire a professional. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I formatted my book using a completely free platform. If you missed my last video about Amazon KDP, I walked you through how to create an entire ebook for free using ChatGPT. Now I'm taking it a step further and I'm going to show you how to format that book that we created with ChatGPT using a free platform called Readsy. If you're new here, my name is Doriessa Carrillo and on this channel we talk about real ways of making money online, along with personal development strategies to help you stay focused, motivated, and successful. Let's just jump into it. Formatting is a crucial step in self-publishing because a well-structured ebook looks way more professional and it's easier to read, which means better reviews and in turn that means better sales. So to help you with formatting, go to Reezy.com and set up a completely free account. Now, once you sign in, your back end might look something like this. And what I did first is I just pressed import book versus pressing this create book. So when you import a book, it's going to want you to import a docs file or an ODT file, and it can be up to 250 megabytes. So right here, you upload your manuscript, you put your book title in, and then you do your subtitle. But when I did this, it kind of got wonky on me. So it put my conclusion with my last chapter and it put my introduction with my chapter one. So it really couldn't read exactly what was going on in my manuscript. So instead of using import book, I went on and press create book. So once I did this, let me just type in example and for YouTube, let's just do that. So let's press create book. And this is going to create your book and it's going to be right here. So once you get your book created, you can click this manage button or you can click this right button. If you click manage, this is going to have your settings. So you have your title, your subtitle, the notification, your writing goals. And when you're ready to export your book, it's going to allow you to export the way you want it to be exported. So once you click on your book right here, it's going to take you into the studio so you can write. Now I just double clicked on this book right here, but to get here, you can also press this right button and it's going to take you to the same exact page. And you can see right here, this is the same exact page as this one that we were just on. So what we want to do is focus on getting our manuscript in here. So as you see right here, we have this option called front matter right now. There's a copyright page that you can add and there's a table of contents page. But what you want to do is press this edit button right here and you want to click on all these buttons because the more pages in the front of your book, the more professional it just feels, right? So let's just count how many pages there are before we get to the first chapter. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's 11 pages of information in that book before it gets to chapter one. Okay, so the more pages you put in the front of your book, the more professional it just feels. So there's a dedication page, an epigraph, table of contents, forward, preface, and acknowledgements. And if you don't know what some of this stuff is, just Google it and then you can ask ChatGPT to write you a dedication page or to write you a forward. You don't have to come up with these things on your own if you don't want to. If you want to, more power to you. But if you don't, you can still utilize ChatGPT. But make sure you add these pages in there to give your book a better feel. So right there, that's what they mean by the front matter. This is the front of the book. And then we get to the body of the book. So let's go ahead and click edit right here. And again, there's a prologue and there is an introduction. Okay. So make sure you have both of those as well. Again, you want to be professional. You want your book to have a professional feel. So let me show you what I did. I went to ChatGPT and I asked ChatGPT as an example, can you write a forward for the seven day minimalist book makeover? And this is the forward it wrote. So this would be an example. We'll take this, we'll copy this over and we'll go back to the forward area and paste this right in there. So there's not really a lot of guesswork about what you have to include in your book. They have it all laid out here for you. So make sure you take advantage of this and fill out all of these sections. Now, when you get to the body, you're going to have your prologue and you're going to have your introduction. Again, make sure you fill out all of these sections. Okay. And then it starts with chapter one. So now you might be wondering what the other chapters are. If you just want to add a chapter, then you go up and you just press this add button and then you can put add new chapter and it'll take you on to chapter two. Or let's say you want to add a new part of the story. There are some books that are set up like that. 
So there might be three parts in the entire book, right? So let's add a new part. This is going to be part one. And then let's go ahead and add a new part again. And it's going to start after chapter two. And you can rearrange this however you want to rearrange this. So I'm dragging this chapter two down into part two. And you can see that that was as simple as that. So you can organize your book extremely well in this platform and it's completely free, which is amazing. So let's say that you are ready to export your book. You would just click right here in this readsy and then you would click your book and now you will go ahead and hit that manage button. Then go over here and click exports. So this is a print ready PDF or EPUB for your ebook. So it does support both paperback, hardcover and ebook. And then there's this book cover option that you're going to have to edit in settings. I don't have a book cover on here. I'm doing that in a different software. So I'll skip that section. And then the formatting options, you want to hide the chapter numbers or you want to have that nice drop caps to start off a chapter. You can do that. And then they have three templates for you to choose from. So Reezy, that's this font right here. Classic. This is the font change right there. And then romance. That's the font change right there. I honestly like the Reezy. I like it plain and simple, easy to read. And then if you want to back up your book, you can back up your book to make sure that you can still go back and edit your manuscript. So once you have all those sections in your book filled out, you're going to want to press this export book right here. And let me show you what it looks like. Let me show you what the finished product looks like because it is actually very, very nice. So this is an example of a seven day minimalist makeover. We have the title page right there. This is for ebook format. Okay. And then we go over and then we have our publishing page and then we have our dedication page. And then we go on to everything else. We have the forward, preface, acknowledgements, introduction, chapter one. And you can see that this is very, very clean. So definitely give this program a look over if you are trying to figure out how to format your book or you're trying to create books with a budget in mind, definitely give this platform a look. It's extremely simple, which is not a bad thing because it's not too much to mess up and it's not too much to have to learn how to do, which is good. In the next video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to create a cover for this book. And I'm excited about this because I'm actually going to publish this on Amazon. So we're going to follow this book completely through and I'm going to show you the entire process for this book. So make sure you put the notifications on. In this video, I showed you how I formatted this book and how you can format your book that you created with ChatGPT. In the next video, we can make a book cover together. And I'm also going to use Reezy again, and I'm going to show you why in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned. Listen, I hope this information helped you out. If it did, please hit that like button. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. Listen, you can do anything you put your mind to. I 100% believe in you until next time. Take care.